the challenges that we have focused on for those decades still persist, maybe in smaller magnitudes, definitely in the energy, energy access space, but uh, they, they still exist uh, with the same urgency and still in very large magnitudes. To be fair, I think we re need to recognize that it is never rational to think that official development assistance or unofficial assistance uh, would solve the, the immense problems that we face the quote unquote achieve development. Uh, nonetheless, I think it's also very relevant to say that to achieve results faster, cheaper, and more sustainably, um, we realize that we need to change the way that we do business. So as I mentioned, we think about this in USAID, uh, and in 2012, USAID India reoriented its country development cooperation strategy for India to focus on harnessing the power of science, of business, and of partnership, and focusing that capacity on the uh, ills of extreme, extreme poverty and, and poverty. Uh, so for more than 50 years, we transfer local solutions elsewhere with little consideration of the other contexts. The assumption is that one, what works in one place will work in others. The problem is that in scaling up by strict replication, we overlook the imperatives of the end users, how they use this, and how they take up the solutions and what makes them do so. Replication in situ won't always work. In custom design, is often too costly to be done on a massive scale. So the question we ask ourselves then is, can we look for ways that bring together insights from both of these approaches in a third way? I, let, I would say that the central argument today is that effective scaling rests with the proper and early identification of solutions that have shown themselves to work. Uh, something that we could call the efficiency core of a proven solution. That is the specific part of the entire solution that we can replicate with minimal modification to vary uh, and to adapt to the local context in which we will be trying to replicate these solutions. Cepho Foundation, under the USAID ground, has documented several such interventions. Uh, one is a financial and technical solution developed for migrant communities that make cricket bats, uh, which has three elements of this efficiency core. One is a financial solution, which allows payments to be linked uh, to the uh, income patterns that the populations that take up the solutions uh, have. When did they earn their money and matching the payment uh, requirements to them? This can be replicated for farmers, where income is seasonal. The second is a technical solution, which is portable and mobile. This is applicable for any community which has a higher probability of moving from one place to another. And the third and probably most important aspect is its link with the improvement in income generation, which allows these communities to afford these solutions which uh, at the beginning are not affordable because of the way they, their income levels. It's a micronutrient intervention uh, that has scaled successfully in six countries. Uh, this is a powdered vitamin and mineral supplement which offers a home-based nutri nutri nutrition fortification to young children and infants. Users can sprinkle it over any semi-solid food, and the iron is microencapsulated to mask its strong metallic taste. And the supplement does not change the color, texture, taste, or smell of food. The replicable efic efficiency core of the sprinkles intervention <coughs> is inspired by the fast food packets of ketchup that you see in restaurants. It's a pre-measured, single-serving sachet which people can easily integrate into the highly ritualized practices of daily food preparation anyway. But while sprinkles always comes in the same sachet form, the micronutrient powders themselves vary according to the local needs. In Mongolia, for example, sprinkles adjust the vitamin D dosages to reduce the costs and features, uh, I'm sorry, to reduce the costs Sorry, to meet the, the nutritional needs of local populations. It localizes manufacturing to reduce the cost uh, and uses local language instru instructions and local artwork on the sachets. These are adaptations, they are not custom designs and therefore consistent with the idea that I've been explaining. So innovation in global development is not only about devising innovative solutions, it's also about scaling up the successful 
interventions so that more people can benefit. We should pay greater attention to scaling and implementation. Not how to bring a, a good idea to scale, but rather what parts of a good idea to scale. 